No way! I've been dreaming about driving this truck all week. Brand new truck. Oh my gosh. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel where as you all know, it's all about the taco. In today's video, we're gonna be completely overhauling our team members, Dustin Gerard, second gen Tacoma. We're gonna take it from an overland beast to an insane pre-runner. Let's get started. Perfect. All right, so before we tear down this truck and remove all the overlanding gear that it has, Dustin and I made a quick stop here at Khalil Fab. I'm here with Khalil. Just kidding. He's gonna be <laughs> developing a bumper from scratch. What's the first thing we're gonna do to this thing? So we're gonna take off this bumper, which is too heavy for what Dustin wants to do. And we're gonna make something that's lightweight, strong, and just get this truck to go fast through the desert. Let's do it, man. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna get this off and then, um, yeah, start figuring out what we wanna keep and what we wanna take off as far as um, clearance for the frame. So. Oh yeah, that's a big weight on the front, man. So this is the biggest problem on the Tacoma frames is this subframe right here. So, you know, some people like to keep it, it's part of the frame and it just kind of holds everything together. But when we build the bumper, we'll tie our bumper all together. So it's all connected and keeps all this from flexing. My name is Khalil, I'm 29 and I'm a fabricator. So when Tacoma Beast originally reached out, um, to be honest, like I was completely flattered. How's it going guys? My name is Mateo, I'm 29 years old and I'm the founder and owner of Tacoma Beast. I admire fabricators so much. I love seeing the art that comes out of fabrication. And I'm really stoked to be coming here with Khalil, to Khalil Fab, to be next to him as he's designing this bumper, something that I'm really going to enjoy and I'm really excited for. So right now we're gonna get our main tube done first. So what I like to do is just build the bumper first and then from there you can figure out the design layout and where you want to land the bottom tubes and all that stuff, so. Just give it a couple extra inches. You guys are witnessing the beginning of what's gonna be an insane looking truck. My name is Dustin Gerard. I'm 35 years old and I am the product manager for Tacoma Beast. So one of the things I'm most excited about is this custom front bumper that Khalil Fab is making for us. The stuff that he does for the third gens is, is like art. I know he's gonna knock it out of the park. In the front, you wanna kick it out a little bit to offer some protection, but on the corners, I like to have it just flush with the body. That looks pretty damn good Dude, over there. Dude, that looks, guys, yeah. look at that. Look how good this is looking, <laughs> man. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. <laughs> we're about to tack weld this tube on, but we're gonna disconnect the battery just to make sure we don't have any issues with arcing out through the ECU or any funny business. How's it looking? It's looking pretty good. We just gotta do the other side and we can get our stands out of the way. <laughs> You're about to witness <laughs> your truck get chopped up, man. You ready? Let's chop it. It's a necessary thing to get the approach angle that we're looking for in these pre-runner bumpers. When Khalil asked if I was okay with cutting the subframe to make the bumper work, I was like, You're the master. I I'll let you do whatever you want. Go for it. This is where the subframes belong. Khalil, man, what an artist. What an artist. He's so meticulous too, like, like just seeing him look at the piece. He can see things that not everybody can see, right? He can see things that I can't see. What's crazy is Khalil could see it before it was even on. <laughs> right? Like I can see it because it's there. And he's already ahead. He knows where this bumper's going. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
until everything just starts to fall into the right spot and it looks so perfect. All right, fellas, we're officially done. Time to pass the truck on to these guys. They're gonna do some magic tour. Dude, thank you so much, man. Guys, from here, Dustin and I are gonna go and completely strip it, get ready for the bedsides. We're gonna wrap it. We're gonna do tons of things to it. Can't wait to show you. Dustin, what are we doing today? So today we are completely stripping down my second gen Tacoma. We're gonna take off all the accessories and gear that make this an overland rig to prep it for the pre-runner transformation. When Mateo reached out to me, told me that uh, we were gonna do a build video on my truck, I just got so excited. I've loved pre-runners since this guy in high school had this fully built, I think it was a Ranger or something. Every time I saw that truck, I was like, that guy is the coolest guy in school. And I've just dreamt about having a pre-runner ever since. And it's off. Now that the awning's off, it makes me realize how much I'm gonna miss it. That thing was so crazy. It just provides shade on the whole side of the truck, the whole backside. We'd take it out to the mountains or the beach or whatever and just open it up and be able to sit under that thing. And it's, uh, it's definitely different not having it. So as we were taking stuff off my truck, I kept telling Mateo, like, oh man, I'm really gonna miss this. I'm really gonna miss that. The soft topper, the Prince rack, the, the bed slide. Oh my God, the bed slide is the one that I'm gonna miss the most. So this is another one that I'm really gonna miss. I feel like I've been saying that about everything we're taking off. It's so useful. Like you go to the store, you go to Home Depot, whatever, and you just rip that thing out, load it up and shove it back in. It's, it's an awesome product. The thought of I wasn't gonna have that anymore was a little, a little, a little, uh, it, that was a little bit of a bummer. Dustin, as we're taking apart all the things from his truck, you know, he starts to like have sentimental value with each part. The sliders, uh, this is actually the first mod I ever did on my truck. And as he's uh, taking it all apart, like he's like, hey man, do you think this will be able to go back on the truck once we, you know, we're done with the pre-runner build? I'm like, no, Dustin. That's not going back on. He's like, do you think the roof rack can maybe go back on? I'm like, dude, you want the pre-runner to be clean, man. No roof rack, take it out, right? We're gonna have a lot more other types of goodies that are, that are just as awesome, right? So it was funny to see that. It was funny to see how each part, like it really hurt him to take it, you know, off the truck, because obviously he built it that way. He loved it, but wait until you see what we're building, Dustin. You're gonna love it even more. All right, here he comes. Don't look yet, don't look yet. Look at me. All right, turn around. Oh, it looks so clean. What are you doing, dude? You have nonstop been just taking out cables from the engine bay. Dude, this, all this stuff looks important. Like this right here, I think you're gonna need this, man. You don't think you're gonna need that? At this point, he's all sweaty, he's tired, he's exhausted. He's like, I don't wanna have all this old stuff. Throws them all off and he knows we've accomplished what we, you know, the goal, which was completely strip the truck and get it ready for the next phase. <laughs> all right, Dustin, we're done tearing apart the truck, all the overland stuff, what's next? So now that we've torn down the truck, we are going to upgrade our brakes to the X-Line Big Brake Kit from Power Brake. Uh, we're gonna be sending it through the whoops, going fast, and we're gonna need that braking power. So this Big Brake Kit is gonna allow us to do that. Let's get to it. I'm excited. Ever since I saw this kit, I've been wanting it and now that we're building the pre-runner, this is a perfect opportunity to get it on there. Let's do it. All right, dude, you have all the parts out. Guys, just take a look at the size of this caliper compared to the stock one. This is a six piston caliper versus two. Just look how much bigger the brake pads are, a lot more stopping power. And then Dustin shows the rotors, look at that. Yeah, so as you can see, the size of the power brake rotor is significantly larger than the factory rotor. And the cool thing about this is it also has a temperature gauge on it. So when you're just going hard in the desert, 
and using those brakes a lot, taking on the whoops, all that. You can actually uh, you see can how hot they got. Exactly. And the caliper has it too, which I, I really like this feature, guys. Um, just take it out, take a look at that. This is for when you're going ham, when you're really pushing it to the next level. And Dustin is getting it. You excited? Yeah, let's throw them on. Let's do it. So you're going from this puny little caliper to this massive six piston caliper. Once it's all put together, it just, it looks incredible. I just, I can't wait to use them. So we got the second side installed. We got everything torqued down to spec and we finished bleeding the brakes. Now we're gonna slap the tires back on and keep going with the build. All right, fellas, we're officially done completely stripping Dustin's Tacoma from an Overland rig to something that looks somewhat like a pre-runner. We've installed the power brakes, which are awesome. That's about as much fun as you've had with the truck. You ready to hand me the keys? Yeah, man, let's do it. So I really wanted Dustin to get to this point and see this far because I wanted him to work on his truck. So and, and I wanted to be able to work by his side and help him out. But from here, he's handing me the keys to his truck and I'm going to be taking it to advanced fiberglass where the truck is really going to start to take shape and look more like a pre-runner. All right, fellas, we made it to Costa Mesa, California. We're here at Advanced Fiberglass. I'm here with John. John, what are we doing to Dustin's Tacoma today? We're gonna transform it. We're doing the bedside insult. That's looking really, really good. You're gonna long travel your build. You want that Baja look. These are what you need. You need the up travel, you need the clearance, you need the tire coverage as well. We're gonna take you guys through the entire install process and show you how easy it is. I can't wait. Let's do it, man. Cool. All right, right now I'm here with Ernesto. He's gonna be doing the installation of the bedsides. Ernesto, what's the first thing on the list, hey, man? Mateo, the first thing I would do is remove the plastic from both sides of the bedsides. Then from there, we'll go to just taking off the trunk, which would be from the bottom, hooking up all the wires, then taking off the tail lights, and then removing the actual bed from the truck. We got a bit of a project ahead of us. Yes, we do. Let's get started. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm the owner over here at Advanced Fiberglass Concepts, and we specialize in building wide body kits for trucks. My recommendation to all the Tacoma customers and our other customers as well is, first question, do you want to install it yourself or do you want a body shop to install it? If you want to have a body shop install it, make sure you find a body shop that has done business and installations with fiberglass before. If you're a customer that wants to do it as a DIY project, then honestly, the fenders and the bedside install is usually a weekend project. It's not hard, it's a little time consuming. You got to keep in mind, you got to take off the factory panels, line ours up, drill the holes out, bolt it down, get the fitment adjusted to where it needs to be. So not hard, just time, that's all it is. So for this part, guys, you don't need a forklift. Yes, it does make your life a lot easier. Most of you guys are not gonna have one, so just use four friends. You can choose to lift the bed up of the truck and just lay it somewhere where you're gonna be able to have that support, or you can do what I did, which is just slightly move it while it's still on top of the truck, and I'll still give you the clearance you need to reach those bolts in the back. Perfect execution. All right, man, so what are you doing from here? All right, so right now you have two options to go with when removing the bedside. The first option would be removing all the bolts to remove this whole metal bracket, take everything apart and put it back in together. The second option would be just leaving everything on and just removing these spot welds that's required right here and then all the ones along this side and these two bolts. And it'll be, for me, it'll be a much easier process by using these two bolts to be your guide, you know? And then remove the rest of the bolts and the panel should just come right off. Look at that. There's your bed in its raw form. All right, so now since I'm not gonna use the bracket or use any portion of this to the bond my bedside, I would normally just cut it right across this edge and then I'll have a positioning to be able to bond it onto it. So now that I know fitment's perfect, everything's where it's supposed to be at, 
it's time to start drilling out our holes, our locators, and start bolting everything back up. Everything's already bolted down, tail lights bolted down. Now it's time to fit check your tailgate and make sure that your lines are identical. You might have little differences, like little inconsistencies, but all that could get sanded down. It's fiberglass and a little bit of bodywork and it makes it look solid. That looks good, man. Seeing Ernesto work on it, he's done a couple of them, and the perfection and how all the lines just match perfect was just so awesome to watch. What a professional. Estamos, you happy? Happy. Look at that, fellas. As if it was straight from the factory. That looks beautiful right there. And right there. Now, we have all that clearance for those tires to get tucked in there real nice once we add the insane suspension. Can't wait to show you guys. All right, fellas, Ernesto's officially done installing the advanced fiberglass concepts bedsides on Dustin's Tacoma. It's time for me to get out of here. We're going straight to Beyond Wraps where we're gonna completely change the color on this Tacoma. All right, fellas, we made it here to Beyond Wraps. I'm here with Marvin, he's the owner. Thanks for having us, dude. Anytime, man. So Dustin told me the instructions were, I just, he really likes blue. He likes the 2014, 2015 blue metallic ribbon. I blue ribbon called. metallic, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Do you have anything that can resemble that? Yeah, there's a lot of similar colors uh, to that retro Toyota color, but the one that we found uh, has a little bit of metallic and uh, it's gonna look beautiful. I had a chance to see the color, guys, and it looks incredible. What's the first thing we gotta do to get the truck ready for this? First thing is tear it apart. Right now, I already started, but basically take anything off that can come off and then we're gonna cleanse it, wash it, foam bathe it, and clay bar it. Make sure it's perfect so that that film can grab on. Let's do it, you ready? Let's go. In the company, I've kind of worked at every single position that we have now, so I used to be customer service. And while I was doing customer service, Dustin comes and you know sends me an email, and I didn't know him at all. And he said, like, hey man, I really love what you're doing. I love what you're doing for the community, and, and, and I want to be a part of it. Like, how can I help? And they got back to me, and they said, hey, we'd love to send you uh, like a swag bag kit, um, and do whatever you're gonna do with it. I was like, all right, cool. He reached out to me again and he's like, hey man, we're doing this meet. He said, oh, I can't make it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Like, I ran out of decals at King of the Hammers. Send me some more and I'll, I'll hand them out. And I was like, holy cow, like, this is insane. You know, this guy keeps promoting us. And this went on for a couple of years. And in 2018, I was hosting a meet with my buddy Jason. And I reached out to Tacoma Beast and I was like, hey, I'm doing this meet. If you want, it'd be cool if you came. And he said, I'll be there. And I was like, oh, cool. He showed up. We met for the first time. I was like, oh, this is this is Mateo. This is Tacoma Beast. Cool. Super fun. We had a great time. Uh, and then the next year, uh, he asked if I wanted a job. Boom. That's where it all started. You know, he started out as customer service with Tacoma Beast and he absolutely killed it. Check it out, guys. He's got heat right there, blowing right at the material, and he's slowly stretching it out. You're watching the artist do his work right now. It's beautiful. It's really hard to find a wrap shop that you can trust I've seen some terrible jobs out there where they they cut in areas that they shouldn't be cutting. There's uh, bubbles, there's these like wrinkles and watching Marvin work on the truck and seeing how meticulous he was and making sure that each part that he was wrapping was coming out perfect was awesome. 
All right, time for the Alpharex headlights. These are the ones for the second gen Tacoma. All right, Marvin, let's see this headlight. Wow. Nice. We'll let, we'll let everything close nicely and take a look at that, fellas. So we're officially done wrapping the truck. You guys got a little glimpse of the color. Before I can fully show you how the truck looks, it's time for me to drive it to Dirt King where the truck is going into the performance stage. We're gonna be going with some insane suspension system guys up in the front and the back. The back is gonna be gnarly. Sucks that it's not going on my truck, but I'm stoked for Dustin because it's going on his. All right, fellas, we just made it to Dirt King. So far, it's been awesome, but things are about to get real right now. We're here with Nick. What's gonna happen, man? Hey, guys, we're about to get into this build. We're gonna be doing our long travel front end, spring under rear, plate bumper. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Yeah, so when we started Tacoma Beast, like I was only 18, I was reaching out to companies and, and telling them like, hey, what my vision was and what we were gonna build with the store and everything. And back then they'll be like, yeah, cool story, kid. Move along, right? And, and when I called Dustin from Durking, I remember I was like, Dustin, you know, this is my vision. This is what I wanna do. And he's like, let's get you on board. My name is Dustin Weeklum. I'm 31 years old and I'm the co-owner of Durking. Working with Tokoma Beast is, is really big for us because I know how it is to be younger, people not taking you seriously and having a lot to offer, but not everyone giving you the shot. And so I felt like early on, we may have worked harder and got us to the point where we're at because we may have been overlooked and uh, we had a lot to prove. <laughs> Where the shock's gonna go now? <laughs> like right about here. <laughs> All right, dude, so why is it that, uh, you know, after you grinded it, you kind of sanded it down, you went over and you welded it on? When you cut the shock mount off, you kind of cut through the plate so that you can just, just cut the weld off completely, smack it off, and then there's just scores in the frame from the cutoff wheel. So I'm gonna, I go back over, weld it, and then I'm gonna grind it all off and blend it and make it look really smooth and nice. Dude, I can't wait to see how it looks. Look at this guy. Look, he's an artist. He's an artist, look at this. Perfect, perfect. Check it out guys, more parts are coming in. Merry Christmas. Yeah, so as we're building out the truck and all the suspension components start coming in, I'm starting to get excited, right? I'm starting to see the bed cage. I'm starting to see the lower control arms. I'm starting to see the bypass shocks. What do we have here, Nick? King shocks, bypass, bump stops, coilovers. Those bypass shocks are so beefy, they look so awesome. And uh, that's when I'm like, my God, we're doing this. It's happening. So you go right there. This guy's gonna go like that. I'll tack it up, I'll just tack this guy on. Tack this guy on, I pull it all off, weld it up on the bench, and then put it in the truck and weld it on the truck. Sick. All right, Taylor, what are you up to now? Um, I got the frame all marked out so I can put the uh, frame notch in there. This guy just sits up there like that. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm just gonna cut everything above that line right here. And then it just welds down the side. So no turning back after this. I think he's gonna love it. I absolutely think he's gonna love it. If he's anything like me, my name's Dustin too. I have the same Tacoma, same suspension. Anything like me, he's gonna love it. And when he gets off road, he's gonna be mind blown what it can do. I started this morning by cutting off the spring perches and the shock mounts from the axle. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and blend like all the welds and stuff from all that off and then I can get the axle ready to start cycling and setting up the shock tabs and the bump pads and the new spring perches and stuff. Cool, so now there's really no turning back. As you guys can see guys, he just took off right there and now he's gonna make it look pretty. We paint the back side so that nothing rusts, and then uh, we'll throw it up in there, get it welded in, and paint the front side, paint the whole inner fender well, the frame, build like a brand new truck. So guys, Ian's got a bit of a challenge here. It's not easy to weld behind that tube, and uh, he's absolutely killing it. Can't wait to show you guys how this looks. All right, fellas, so while Ian is working on the front of the truck, Taylor's in the back, and he's installing the frame plates on the truck so that Dustin can send it, and he won't be fearing if his chassis is gonna bend. It's gonna be insane. Let's take a look at how awesome they look. So from the factory, the Tacoma frame is just a C-channel frame. Uh, what we do is a full frame plate kit that makes it a boxed frame from basically the cab back. This does a couple things. It helps reinforce the frame itself as well as prevent frame flex. All right guys, so Taylor just finished welding all of the frame plates. Just take a look at how nice they look. What's next, man? Uh, I'm gonna paint this thing, uh, I'm gonna put the hangers on, and then I'm gonna cycle it and tab the axle. Cool. What you got there, man? New leaf spring hangers. Leaf spring hangers, huh? Oh, right. hell yeah. Look at that, guys. There it is. So that's where the leaf spring will be bolted down, and then this goes straight to the frame, right? Yeah, right up to the frame. So I walk into Dirt King, I meet Taylor and Ian, and they start working, and immediately I'm like, oh my god, these guys are so fast. It's like watching a pit crew just building a truck. It was amazing. And uh, it was so much fun to just hang out with them this whole time. I cannot wait to see how the truck looks, and just seeing how professional they are working on it is awesome. Okay, we've let the welds cool down. I went ahead and prepped the frame with the DA sander and uh, taped off everything I don't want painted. So let's get to painting. All right, Mr. Ian, the paint is dried. What's next? Uh, start assembling the kit. I start with the lower control arm and then work my way up from there. Guys, look at that coilover right there. That's a king coilover. Just get a load of that, guys. Gonna bolt directly to the truck, it's bolt directly to the coilover, and then it all goes in with no fabrication. So here comes the upper guys. So this kit right here, this long travel kit, same exact one that Ian is holding right now, is actually the one that was on my second gen Tacoma before we completely stripped it to turn it into an insane pre-runner with beams, 
you know, four link in the back and all the crazy shenanigans that you guys have been seeing us do, make sure to stay tuned. We have a lot of episodes on that build alone. So make sure to subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss that one. Time for the spindle. So guys, you definitely wanna have a beefed up uh, spindle just because most likely you're gonna be rocking 35 inch tires, you know. A much beefier setup, you're gonna be beating up on your kit and spindles are usually what tend to bend when you're out there on the trails. What's next? And then I'm gonna go ahead and torque all the bolts. Um, I torque the lowers to 140 foot pounds and then the upper one here is 120 foot pounds. Along with this is also 120 foot pounds. Guys, I'm so stoked for Dustin. Just look at all that beef in front of this truck. That's only the front. Cannot wait for you guys to see the back and what Taylor's gonna do to it. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I'm gonna cycle the rear end today. I'm gonna throw the bump stops in. I gotta strip the leaf pack down and then I'm gonna throw the front hangers on and then we can start cycling and tabbing the axle out for the shocks and stuff. Dude, I can't wait to see it cycle. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. There we go, we got the king bump stop. So these are the front hangers, huh? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see how these look. Oh snap, those are beefy, man. Yeah, these are really strong. Holy cow. I got a sticker pack. You get a sticker pack. I'm gonna steal these from Dustin. Sorry, Dustin, these are mine. All right, guys, time for the best part, and that is Dirt King's prefab bed cage. What do you have there? Holy cow. Look at those bypass. King bypasses. Holy cow. All right guys, check out Taylor's welds. These are absolutely insane. All right, fellas, now that Taylor's done painting the frame and the axle, it's time to put her all back together. Let's do this. Last piece of the puzzle, my absolute favorite part, the bed cage with the bypass shocks.
now it's time to put the rear bumper on and finish this thing up. Guys, this right here is one of the cleanest pre-runner bumpers I've seen out there from Dirt King. Just take a look at how nicely it all fits with the original Tacoma body lines. Cannot wait for you guys to see it once we mount the tires. All right, guys, tires just got back from getting mounted. Check out Rika's new beadlock wheels. So clean on the amp terrain attacks. These are 315 by 70 on a 17 inch wheel. Cannot wait to see how they look on the truck. Dustin's gonna get here any minute now. We're done with the truck. Can't wait to see his reaction. Here it goes. No way! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Dustin, you see that? Um, that looks insane! What do you think of look the color? Inside. The color is amazing. Look inside, so look crazy. inside. Whoa. Now look at these seats. So, you know, he's looking around the truck. He's super excited. And I'm like, Dustin, I open the door and I'm like, check out this PRP seats, man. So when I first saw my truck, the first feeling that I got was just relief that looks really good what do you think you like it like all this like waiting was finally over there's my truck it's amazing the color the wide body like fenders and bedsides and just like you can see the king shocks popping out everywhere and they painted my frame like i was like that's not my truck that's a brand new truck what are you talking about like i i could not believe it like so just this relief followed by this wave of excitement and just like, I can't believe I get to take that home today. Oh. Glad Heck you like yeah. it, now time yeah. to have some fun. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys. It looks amazing. Thank you guys. Dude. Like one of the thoughts that ran through my head today as I'm there with my family is this could be my son's truck one day. And he could be that cool kid in high school with the badass pre-runner. Uh, Mateo even made an offer. He called me and was like, dude, I'm buying this truck off of you. And I told him, good luck. <laughs> Dallas, what do you think of the truck, man? Good. Good? All right, fellas, we've reached the end. We're actually going to be dropping a couple more videos from this series where you guys are actually going to be able to see things in a little bit more detailed. We're going to go more in depth. You guys will be able to see how the front bumper was fully built and you guys will be able to see the dirt king part also of, you know, how was that bolt sheared it off? What did it really take? If you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so that YouTube can notify you when we drop new videos. It really helps us out too. We have new merch out, so make sure to check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one.